Welcome to a new video on my home automation Open Heaven Node playlist. This time I got a new review product from ITID, which is a son of TH1, the European version, and it's a two gang switch or the two gang version. Uh, before I go into it, I just wanted to show what you get in the box. So you get this really small box, which is uh, you know it shows the model type, and then you have the well, they used to have the links for the applications, but that's probably in the leaflet now. You can see the dimensions 86 times 86 and the one gang model and the two gang model has the same physical appearance then you get the model as well it comes wrapped in this uh, sort of um, productive um, bubble wrappy thing and it also has a foil on the on the front uh, screen so it doesn't get scratched i haven't removed it and if you look at the back you can see it's uh, you know, rated for 90 to 264 volts, uh, 50 or 60 hertz. So I'm assuming that um, the internals are pretty much the same for the UK, the US and the European version. The only thing which is different is the size of this box because um, this rounded one is the European version because it usually fits the, the European wall sockets. The US one has a different size and I'm assuming the reason that the there is no free gang European version because uh, the relays and everything probably wouldn't fit into this but they work identical and well I might be corrected on this but if you need a free gang version I guess you can just buy the US one as long as you can make the you know the wall socket big enough to fit the you know the extra envelope of uh, this back uh, piece you can go to um, IT site or the son of uh, site and you can see the specifications how big you know your uh, wall socket needs to be in order to fit the, Euro the US version. But anyway, let's talk about this European one. So um, there are connections here. There is one connection for the neutral. There is a live going in and the live one, live two going out. Um, and it's being stressed on the website and also in this leaflet as well that to operate this wall switch, you need both the neutral and the live connection in your wall socket. Uh, older homes with re you know regular um, light switches wouldn't have the live connect or sorry wouldn't have the neutral connection because basically you're switching live. So if if that's the case, you would not be able to use a son of touch. So that's th definitely check before you start buying. So if you remove your existing wall socket and you only see one color wire in the box, then well it's not going to work so you have to have at least two different wire two different color wires in europe i think it's usually black and blue or black and brown so these are the the color for live and neutral i mean it can be different in other countries but again if you see one color then you have a problem if you see two colors then you're most probably safe uh, besides these products you also get a warranty card yeah warranty and you get a leaflet which is two-sided so one side is Chinese and the other side is English you can read the basics how you wire it and again as it shows here you need the, the neutral and the live wires and so if you have only a kind of wall socket which has only uh, life then yeah it's not going to work and that's the way you uh, to wire it up so it's really easy you get the the neutral into this left connection and the life goes in and the and the l1 l2 goes out to your two lamps or whatever device that you are switching so fairly simple and then you get a really short um, description of how you pair it with your um, application again you get the links the qr code for the ios and the uh, sorry, the uh, the app download and also the to read the guide. So it's just going to point to the IT the website. So simple, really, really simple. I did not show this in the previous touch video, but the way to disassemble this is uh, there is a tab here on the lower side. So you just put a screwdriver in and then you ease it, ease the front bezel off. And then now you have the internals. The, the only reason you might want to take this off because that's how you can access the, uh, the, the screw holes here. So you put it into your wall plug and then you screw it in from here. And then at the end, you <coughs> put the front bezel back on. So simple. 
just like for the uh, first touch model, you have a, a few indicator lights. So first of all, you have an indicator light for the uh, for the Wi-Fi. That's the same kind of light that you get on any of the um, Sonoff devices. So that's the status. And there is a, a faint dim uh, backlight on the two of the touches, just to indicate its status. As you can see, I built myself a new test board. And I think the lay uh, layout is a little bit easier to understand now. Uh, basically, you have the devices, um, you know, all the devices like here, and the lights that they are controlling is just above them. So obviously, this is for the TH10, that's for the touch. And the T1, which has two gangs, now have two lights above them. The new T1 is powered at the moment, and it hasn't been configured yet, but you can see that even without configuring, the touch actually works, and I can operate the two lamps manually. So the way to pair it up is to press and hold the left gang button and the documentation says for, a, for at least seven or eight seconds. And so let me just do that now. And if you do hold it, you, you will hear one beep and, and just you have to wait for the second beep. And um, I'm not sure if it's really visible in the camera because the LED is quite dim, but you can see the uh, the wireless um, indicator now flashing so it, it uses the flashing uh, uh, rhythm that we have seen for other devices as well and then you select new device you want to do the quick pairing you specify your wi-fi credentials and you just follow the on-screen procedures and it usually it uh, this whole procedure is completed in like uh, for me it usually like i don't know half a minute, 20 seconds. Maybe by the time I finish this one, well, actually, well, it's already finished. So I'm going to name this T1 to gang. Complete, okay. So I have the new device appearing on the screen and because it has two gang, it has a sit, obviously a slightly different um, visual appearance as the touch. I mean, it uses the same icon. They are just uh, slightly short, um, uh, smaller but you can immediately control them using the front screen and so if either of the uh, outputs are on then the background is uh, blue otherwise if everything is on then it's just gray unlike the other um, devices where you click on the empty space on the so it's like not the delete button and not the uh, the icon but somewhere in between that it um, opens up that device in full screen. For the T1 2 gang switch, it works slightly different because you have to click on this left arrow to get into the full screen mode. And of course, you can operate the lights from here. You can see the visual changes to reflect the uh, um, you know, physical appearance of the switch. The only thing we, uh, well, the first thing that we can notice here is uh, we only have three buttons on the, on the button. Uh, we have share the schedule and the timer so they work exactly the same way as they do for all of our other devices the only difference is that when you try to um, change set up anything you see that you have a channel one and a channel two selector so all the schedule all the schedule settings all the timer settings they um, uh, operate per output so at the moment it's or well, it's it's called channel so channel one is outlet one channel two is outlet two so you can have timers set up for each of them separately and also schedule created for each of them uh, separately but otherwise they work exactly the same way as uh, we have seen before if you go into the settings then um, uh, that, that's where you can change the the name of the two channel so you can rename them to whatever light that they are controlling so you can set them separate names and also on the power on state you can set the power on state per channel as well so yeah that's a nice nice feature so as I said the loop timer is missing so if you are planning to use the loop timer then you have to go for a single touch that's the only limitation that I can see at the moment the other thing is if when you go into the scenes the, um, we see the same uh, similar kind of functionality what we see on the the timers and the schedules that you can control you can set them up per, per channel and the same thing happens here so when you do a trigger and then the trigger device is a gang uh, sorry the t12 gang 
you can set the trigger to only trigger on channel 1 or on channel 2 meaning the status change of set, uh, channel 1 or channel 2 or actually you can even create a trigger which includes both of them so let's say you know this is a, a scene which gets executed when both of the gangs on this T1 eyes turn on so yeah and also of course um, when you are on the execution side so uh, the device that you want to execute it's it's quite nice that they have included the key functionality as well so you can create a scene which only impacts channel one so it it will turn channel one on but it will keep channel two to whatever state it is uh, at the moment so that's nice so you can really control these two gangs individually and i would assume that if you buy the free gang us model i would behave exactly the same so that would have just have a channel three here and then you can again uh, use the on off and the keep options for the scenes and of course the schedules and the timers would be would allow you to select it or set it up for channel one two and three uh, completely independently Definitely one uh, advantage that it, it saves space because on one uh, wall socket you have two switches. The only thing, uh, well, the only really thing that you that I can see that you are compromising is the loop timer functionality. But if this is the kind of lights in your living room which you would operate manually anyway, I mean you don't want them to turn off after 15 minutes or something like that, then it's not a big of a sacrifice. Well, I think that will be my take on the T12 gang or the new T1 family. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.